It's Labor Day, a day when we get to take a break from the daily grind. We thought it might also be a good time to reflect on why our work matters to God. Lee Webb has that story. Lord, prepare me. You're about to meet one of the most important people here at CBN. Not just for what he does, but for how he does it. Tried and true. It's work, but I'm worshiping. When I'm in that restroom, I'm finding myself in the Lord. I'm entering into the presence of God while I'm in the restroom working, sir. Stephen Pierce sees his work as much more than the tasks he's assigned to perform. If you get trapped up in the work part of it, then you'll lost the whole meaning while you're here. I don't look at it as just as work. I look at it as a calling. I'm here ministering, cleaning, worshiping, and ministering why I do what I do. God bless you, Sister Lori. How you doing? He's just such a great example of how you can work and honor God and glorify God every moment of the day, regardless of what you do. And that, according to R.C. Sproul Jr., is our calling as Christians. Our tendency in the evangelical church is to separate uh, our spiritual life from our ordinary life. If we can have the perspective that we're working for the kingdom and we're working for Jesus and that, that our work is a sacrifice to him, we end up richly rewarded. Come on, come on, come on soldier. Love you, man. <laughs> Love you, man. He really is a breath of fresh air. I mean, not only is he a gentleman and a man of excellence in everything that he does day in and day out, yes, Lord. but you know, at the end of the day, he does this unto the Lord. Praise God. The Apostle Paul wrote about that very principle in his letter to the Colossians. He wrote, whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. That resonates with you, doesn't it? Absolutely. If I'd done everything for myself, Lee, I would probably be a multimillionaire by now. But what I do is not for me. It's never for me. It's never about me. It's all about God, man. It has always been about God in my life. So when I work, I am truly working unto the Lord, sir. Stephen has it right, according to author and pastor Tim Keller. He's written about connecting your work to God's work in his book, Every Good Endeavor. All work is rearranging the raw material of God's creation for the purpose of human flourishing. In the process, you make money, and sometimes you even get self-esteem. But if money and self-esteem is the main reason you work, the work will be boring, and very often it won't add to other people's lives. Stefan definitely does that. He encourages everyone. Hey, soldier, let me let you through here, man. When people walk by, hey, sometimes sis. you'll call them brother or sister. Yes. But, but you call people soldier a lot, too. What, yes, what, what, what's yes. behind that? Uh, because that's who we are. We're soldiers of the Lord. Man, He's called us to stand on the front line and proclaim the gospel. All right, man, so we got to stay on the battlefield, Doc. He's like a soldier in the army of God, always armed and ready to give hope and encouragement. And that's what I love about the guy. And I don't think he has a bad day. In fact, I don't think he knows what a bad day is. Is there any time that you've had a bad day? Listen, Lee, I made up in my mind, you will never see that. No one will ever see that of me. You will not see me looking downcast, frustrated, confused. You won't see that in me. God's called me to a ministry of encouragement. How can I encourage you if I'm all down and all broken and all torn up inside? Right. What type of light will I be to you? Bless you, my sister. How are you? The hierarchy here on earth is vastly different from the hierarchy the way it's going to be in heaven. And a lot of times I look at him and think, I bet I'm going to be working for him one of these days in heaven. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lee Webb, CBN News. God, in the name of Jesus. God bless him. Well, those are today's top stories from CBN.